Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here with another franchise mode and this one is a very interesting one and I'm excited to see how this one goes. We are going to see if my fantasy hockey team can win a Stanley Cup in one year. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Hidden franchise mode, hidden new, and we're going to substitute a random team for my fantasy team, alright? So, um, I'm interested to see how it is. My fantasy team this year isn't great, I believe... At the moment, I am 2-7. and seven. Let me go confirm. Yeah, so we are 2-7. and seven. I'm not having a great fantasy year, but I, I do think that my team is pretty darn good, man. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've just gotten unlucky, but GM Leafer is here to try and win with this team. So pretty much what we're going to do here... Can you not substitute a team? You can. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to just randomly hold down my left trigger, and whenever I decide to stop, that is a team we are taking out for my team, all right? So we are going to stop... Now, so we are taking out the Edmonton Oilers. Sorry, Connor McDavid. Sorry, Lee Andre Settle. Sorry, Jack Campbell. Substitute in this team for my created team here. Leafer Nation. All right. So we are the Maple. Wait, no. Hold on. There it is. Toronto Leafer Nation. There it is. Okay. So this is a team we will be taking over. And we are in the Pacific Division. We are the highest rated team in this division. Which could be good for us. It could be very good for us. So we're going to continue that there, okay? Owner mode off. CPU trades on. Player morale off. Fog of war. I mean, doesn't really matter. We'll turn it off for now. Head coach as line. I'm going to turn off. Salary cap we will keep on. Even though my team is over the league salary, okay? So, rules and settings here. Uh, let's go to quick settings. We are going to do... Five minute periods. Franchise mode length. We'll do ten. Uh, difficulty will be superstar... Uh, trade difficulty doesn't really matter. We're not really making any trades, but we'll put that on the highest, I guess. Uh, and other than that, looks good to me. We will be keeping injuries on. I, no, we'll take them off just because I don't have an AHL team to really ice. So injuries will be off, and we will start the career with this team. We're going to keep the salary cap on, even though my team isn't cap compliant, okay? I don't know how that's going to work out. Okay, so let's quickly look at this team, what kind of chemistry we have running. It's a good team, all right? Let's be honest with each other. It's a very good team, okay? So we got Laniscog, Matthews, Nachuskin, Konechny, Zabinajad, Hall, Bertuzzi, Kopp, Hyman. Uh, Bjorkstrom's not on my team, but we got McCann and Bunting, and then defense Chitrin and Petrie, Lilligren and Martinez, Brady Shea, and Alexiev. He's not on my team as well. And then goaltending, we had Jake Ottinger and Jack Campbell, who is scratched right now. All right, we also have Carter Hart as well. Who's down in the minors that is on my team? No one really. So we got a couple players that are technically not on my team, all right? Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I went power, like I went hard with goaltending, as you could see. Linus Allmark is down in the minors. Uh, none of these guys make my actual team, okay? So the only players that aren't on my team, um, on my fantasy team, are Borgstrom and Alexiev, all right? And I think I'm fine with that because they're lower overall. So... We're going to try to create some decent looking lines here. Give me a second. This team, I think, is going to go the F off. Let's be honest with each other. All right, so this is the team I will be running. We got a plus one on the first line with Landeskog, Matthews, and Konechny. We got a plus two with Nachuskin, Zabinajad, and Tyler Bertuzzi. Uh, we got a zero for Hall, Kopp, and Hyman. That's a right. And then we got a plus one for Bunting, McCann, and Bjorkstrom. Okay, defensively, Chitrin will be playing with Timothy Lilligren, a uh, plus one for them, a plus two for Petrie and Martinez, and a zero for Brady Shea and Alexiev. And then in net, Jake Ottinger is going to be taking the crease with Jack Campbell backing him up, and then we got Allmark in the minors if things don't work out with them, okay? So, looks good to me. Uh, do we have a coaching staff? That is the question. Uh, we probably do, and we have a pretty decent coach that uh, gets uh, along with this team. So, this team could definitely go deep in the playoffs, I think. Even though my fantasy record is 2-7, and seven, other than that, I think this team could go deep in an EA Sports franchise mode, okay? So real quick, we're going to decline and edit the blocks just to make sure we get no trades here. We're not making any trades. We can't make any trades, technically, because my team is the way it is, all right? So um, we're going to see if my fantasy team will do good in an EA Sim. I think personally will. I'm going to make a quick prediction. You guys make a prediction in the comment section down below to see how far you think this team will go. I am calling 
I am calling conference finals with this team. I don't think we're going to win a cup, but I still do think we will hit the conference finals. All right, we got a pretty weak division. We are the highest overall rated team in our division right now. Okay, so we're going to take it a month at a time, keep up with everyone's stats, keep up with the team stats, and see how everyone does. All right, so let's simulate these days and see how, how this is going to go. All right, we are 1 0 1. We have yet to lose in regulation. As I say that, we lose in regulation. Two, oh my God, this team is losing games. All right, interesting, but we're winning some as well. First month, not how we wanted it to go. Three, five, and one. Matthews with seven points in nine games. We are in fifth, so we are not far out of a playoff spot, but we are not doing great. So maybe we shake up the lines just a little bit. Uh, Matthews, this line is doing okay. Maybe we just shake it up a little bit. I don't know how we would shake it up. We get a minus one if we do that. I don't want Matthews playing there. Can we throw Taylor Hall there? We get a plus five on the second line. Kind of looks a little bit better. I could definitely be okay with that. I don't like Landeskog on the third line. Maybe we throw him on the second line and have Bertuzzi play on the third. Maybe try something like that defensively. Uh, seems like they're doing okay. This second pairing not doing great with the plus minuses. So maybe we just kind of change that up a little bit. Maybe sh throw someone up here. We get a plus one if we do that. Get a plus two. I don't know if I really like that. Maybe we just keep the defense the same and hope for the best. Goaltending wise, Jake Ottinger, 903. Jack Campbell, 892. So with that being said, I kind of want to bring up Linus Allmark because Jack Campbell, just like in real life, ain't doing great right now. So uh, we, we even have Carter Hart... Um, Scratch. Maybe we'll throw in Carter Hart before we before we bring in Linus Allmark. I think that will be the fair play. Sorry, Jack Campbell, you're just not doing it. We need wins, obviously. So Carter Hart will come in. Jake Ottinger is doing a, an a okay job right now. Obviously, could be better. All right. So first month, not really how we expected it to go. Hopefully, the second month will will be turned around. So far, it's not really looking like it though. Okay. So let's keep picking up these wins here. Three nothing win against Carolina. Two nothing loss against Florida though. We need to get above 500 and just kind of start running away with it, which we are trying to do here. A little bit of a better month, to be fair. We are 11, 10, and 2. Six in this division, which is just not great, but we're still we're still running with these teams. We're not far behind them. Matthews, 22 points in 23 games, so he turned it up that month. Other than that, I don't really know how to think of this. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else we can change to be honest without getting a minus one in that first line for some reason matthews doesn't really like it here on this first line he likes it better on the second line maybe we'll throw him on the second line see how that works out he gets a plus two there maybe get a plus three for that first line throw bertuzzi up there maybe throw hall there maybe just try something out i don't know i'm trying to throw things at the wall hoping it sticks with this team because obviously we should be better than our record is is saying you know what i mean so we'll sim another month 3-0 loss to start out, 2-1 shootout loss, and another loss, but we come back with a win. So a little losing streak there, which isn't great. This team has given up a lot of goals, which is not great. Um, which kind of makes me think our goaltending isn't great, even though on paper it looks pretty good. We have a horrible record, 16-17-5. and five. Um, We are almost dead last in this division, which is actually like the Kraken are doing better than us, which is actually just crazy to me matthews not liking it on that line so we'll we'll change that back around all right uh he's not liking it there defensively it's not working out we're just gonna go with that and hope that that sticks uh maybe three yeah okay that's good there goaltending i have a feeling this is where it's gonna go downhill 908 913 isn't bad how's omar doing down in the minors 902 it's not like he's doing great in the minors i kind of want to call him up and see what he does but we'll keep it like that for now team's not doing great all right the team is not doing great kind of want to check some stats for this team here and just kind of show where we at all right so goals against per game we are we're not bad we're not giving up a lot of goals it could be better goals against per game uh again not bad 2.74 goals four per game we are not scoring but like we're, we're in the middle of the pack so I don't know. I, this is interesting to me. I don't know what's wrong with this team right now. 16, 17, and 5. We made some more lineup changes and hoping that that's going to help us out. We need to make a push for these playoffs. I called the conference finals with this team and we're not even in the playoff spot right now, which is actually crazy to me. All right. So let's keep it going here. 
we're losing games, man. We're losing more games than we're winning, and it's not good. It is not good at all. We need to get our shit together and just kind of start winning some hockey games, which we are doing right now. 23-21-6 and six after, what, four or five months. Still sitting in seventh in the Pacific, man, which is crazy. Um, we're tied with the Canucks, though. They do have a game in hand as well, though. We're still we're still in the race. We are still in the race, which is good. Uh, Matthews, not doing great, man. Like, he's doing okay, but I don't know if he's not liking this first line. I don't know what it is, man. Zabinijad having a better year than he is. Maybe we got to... We got to... Hold on, all right. Let me let me see what we can do here. I think th th there's moves to be made here, okay? Hold on. All right, if I move McCann up there, we get a plus five on this uh, on this line. We get a plus two here and a plus five there. I kind of like that. So Landeskog, Matthews, McKin or McCann. Uh, we got Konechny, Zabinajad, Bertuzzi, Hall, Kopp, Nachuskin, Hyman, Bjorkstrom, and Bunting. Not a fan of Bjorkstrom centering this fourth line, to be honest, with 74 face-offs, but we'll figure it out. Uh, power play, plus two, plus one. Can we get a plus five on here somehow? Surely there's got to be a way. Okay, for the time being, that that is what it is. We we had a way better month here if we look back at that month real quick. We went on a little bit of a winning streak here. One, two, three, four, five game winning streak, which was huge. Hopefully we can do that again. We're going to go another month and then the trade deadline's coming up. Obviously we're going to be making no moves. Um, so a 5-1 loss there, not ideal. A 2-1 OT loss, at least we get a point. We're on a four-game losing streak, so that five-game winning streak clearly meant nothing to this team. Uh, can we can try to maybe stack together some wins here and try to get a better record? We're 27-27-7, sitting in sixth place in this division. It, it, it flabbergasts me how this team isn't doing great. Obviously, it, maybe it's our defense. Chitron's already up to an 81, man. That's crazy. Maybe, I don't know what it is, dude. I really don't know what it is. Is it our goaltending 908, 914? It's not great. Uh, maybe, maybe we give Linus Allmark the call up. He's got a 922 up there. I think we're going to call him up, all right? So let's go to roster moves. Hopefully no one claims him. Uh, this is my issue now. Let's call up Allmark. We got to send someone down. It's going to be Jack Campbell. He got claimed by Seattle. That's the name of the game. Now, if we lose Allmark, that's going to be something. We're good, all right? So, edit AHL lines, whatever. We're going to do best lines. I really don't care about the AHL, obviously. Uh, not enough dress goalies. Okay, hold on here. Calvin Picard, and just bring in whoever, all right? Look at that. Easy fix. We're going to sit out Carter Hart. We're going to throw in line of Solomark and see what he can do in the NHL and hopefully stop some pucks for us and help us win some games. I feel like that would be great, all right? I just want to at least make the playoffs and see what we can do in the playoffs. I think that's a, a fair little statement there, all right? But we're losing games. Uh, we're going to just keep current trade block. Continue simming. We don't even care about the deadline. It's not a big deal. Uh, I don't know what's happening. My game was frozen there for a bit, all right? Uh, Ryan O'Reilly's off to Detroit. That was the big trade. Victor Mete, we're not going to claim him obviously and let's keep it going here let's try to stack together some wins which we're doing three game winning streak make it four we take a loss there but we get a win right back that's good seattle we went against a division uh rival that's good we're we're gathering some wins here so this is good okay hold on hold the phone here leafer nation we just went on a one two uh okay we got a loss there we went on so before that loss against Ottawa, we were on a 1-2-3-4 game winning streak. After that, we were on a 1-2-3-4-5-6-7 game winning streak. We are now 38-30-8. We are currently sitting in second. So we are in a playoff spot, which is huge. But there are teams that are right behind us. The Kraken are a point behind us. The Sharks are a point behind us. Golden Knight and Kings are two behind us. The Ducks are four behind us. So this is a close, very, very close race. We're going to take it a game at a time, okay? Against the Ducks, 6 nothing loss. Not great. We are now down to 4th in our division. We play LA in the Ducks again. We lose against the, the, the Kings, which now sits us in the in 5th. Got to win against the Ducks here. We get a 4-3 win. We are back up to 3rd. We play the Sharks now in 4th place. We are tied. Uh, the Sharks are a point behind us. This is a big game. You want to win this. We lose a 3 nothing. Lovely. So the games that matter, we are not winning. We are in a wild card spot right now, playing the Avs, who are having a great season. We lose that 6-3. to And the Sharks, which we lose 3. 
And I don't know if we've made the playoffs. I, I No, we've not made the playoffs. Crazy that this team has not made the playoffs. Um, wow. I don't know what to say to that. I, I really don't know what to say to that. We just missed the playoffs. Um, wow. So, clearly my 2-7 and seven fantasy team deserve not to make the playoffs. I cannot believe that, man. This team does not make the playoffs. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Uh, I, I don't really know what to say to that. How did he do this season? 9-11 save percentage. Not great. Not bad, obviously. Linus Allmark, how did he do for us? 9-19, 4-3-1. We just couldn't win the games at the end of the season to help us make it into the playoffs. Sharks were one of the teams that were right with us, and we end up losing both games against them. Horrible stretch of hockey. I kind of want to try to see if we can win this again, but honestly, it's a one-year sim, and this is just kind of how, how it goes. So you know what? Let's sim to the draft. Let's see who ends up winning the Stanley Cup. I said this team could probably make the conference finals. They end up not even making the playoffs. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, I thought we had a good enough team to win a cup or at least compete for a cup. And we end up just not making the playoffs. So the Stanley Cup champions are the Chicago Blackhawks. The Calder champs are the Marlies. So the Hawks win in the cup. Uh, maybe kind of shows to kind of shows you how this sim kind of went. Um, last time I checked in real life, the, the, the Blackhawks are kind of in a rebuild, but they somehow won the cup. Um, interesting. So I kind of want to see how this playoff tree worked out. They won against the, the the Canes, which okay, I can I can respect obviously. Who did the Chicago Blackhawks have that they won the cup? All right, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just make it make sense a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, so obviously Patty Kane, obviously Kershev, who was an '84, Anthony CU. Tays, Domi, Radish. I mean, they got a decent little team. Uh, who was their goaltender? Peter Mrazek, an 81 overall goaltender, won them a Stanley Cup. Okay, I don't know. I guess my uh, fantasy team is worse than the Chicago Blackhawks right now. I don't know what to think of that. I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of a little bummed out that this team didn't do too well. Let's see if we've won any trophies real quick. And then we will go from there. Obviously, we didn't have a great year. I doubt we won any sort of trophy. Obviously, we didn't win any team rewards. Our Ross to Kane. Memorial going to McKinnon. Fox uh, got the Norris. The Lady Bing going to Kane. Calder going to Wright. Kane getting the Con Smythe. Vesna going to Markstrom. Jennings going to Markstrom. Bill Masterton, the White Cloud. Molly won the Jack Adams. Frank J. Selke going to Bergey. McKinnon to 10 Lindsay. The Richard to Rantanen. Our Ross. And that's everything. All right, so... This team's just a dud, man. I kind of want to try this again. If you guys want to see me try to win a Stanley Cup with my fantasy team once again, let me know in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around, new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. We are less than two or just over 200 subs away from 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and are enjoying the content and want to see more content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Well, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.